We're gonna work on down today, which is just lie your belly flat on the ground. We've got Levi out today. We're out in a beautiful downtown area, so I brought a mat to make it a little bit more comfortable for him to lie down on. So I like to have two ways to ask a dog to do almost anything. One is a verbal, the word, down, and the other is a hand signal. And for me, personally, I like just the flat palm straight to the floor. Um, it just makes the most sense to me. I'll show you how we get there. Um, and Levi's gonna help us. So I'm gonna start with the dog in a sitting position. So I ask them to sit, but they don't get any clicks and treats for that. Levi. Nice job. Then I'm gonna slowly lower my hand directly to the floor, wait for him to offer that behavior, and then I click and treat. I wind up tossing the treat just to reset them. It's easier for me to get them into position. So I ask for the sit first, because I like to ask for the sit first, because half of them's already where I need it to be, half of them's already on the ground. Here, leaves. Sit. Good boy. And then I use my hand. Straight to the floor. Good boy. And then again, I toss the treat. Now, when I'm ready to bet $100 that the hand alone will get me the behavior I want, I say the word first. I'll say the word first, which is down. If I sit. Leave that down and then give my hand to you. Good job, buddy. And then after they're good at that, you can just try the word alone without asking for the sit first. Levi, down. Good boy. <laughs> One thing I don't do is I don't repeat the down, down, down. I ask them once, either with the verbal or with the hand signal. If they don't do it, that's okay. I don't want to get stuck nagging them. I don't want to get stuck continually asking them to down, down, down. Um, it's perfectly fine if they don't down. I'll just help them out a little bit easier, make it a little bit easier for them the next time. So I like to use down um, for lots of different things, but obviously it's a nice relaxed position for them to be in. They're not likely to jump up on people. They're not likely to get underfoot when they're in the down position. So I like down for, um, for self-control and I also like it just as like a pause button for these guys. So I use it a lot at my own house. I'll use it a lot out in public like this when I need him to just stay calm and not be into the flower pots and, you know, looking under the tables for food and that sort of thing. Um, and it also helps, again, if he's laying down, it's harder for him to jump on people. For more fast, fun, and easy dog training ideas, visit smartdoguniversity.com. Please click on subscribe to see more videos and please leave a comment below.